Exeba Fetu, are you a student who is currently in high school facing one big predicament that at this time of the year, you want to make a strong academic comeback. But now the problem is you do not know how. Where do you even start? Is it even possible? No, man, you're on the right video. Don't scroll, don't go away. I won't even waste your time. Hello, Tam Dezut, your home says of Fabu, and if you want to let my subscriber and my follower, enjoy the video. The first step you need to take on this journey, Fundi, is a level of self honesty where you acknowledge two things. The first acknowledgement is that there is a problem. You have not been performing the way you wanted to. You have not been putting the level of effort that is required. You have not been making the necessary sacrifices to reach the goals that you have. Acknowledgement number two, it is to acknowledge the fact that you need to take responsibility now. The time of pointing fingers and blaming people for your results is over. You can no longer blame the teachers that were absent the teachers that did not teach excellently in the way that you would have loved them to, the people who don't want to help you when you ask for help. It is easy to put the blame on someone else for things that will have repercussions on you instead of taking responsibility and giving yourself the power to make that change. The second step that we're going to take together is that I want you to do a mindset change because there is nothing that I can say to you right now that will change your mind if you have not changed internally. I want you to change your perspective on what is possible. By so doing, you're making your mind more naive, right? I want you to be disgustingly positive from now on on what is possible. It is possible to be positive and realistic at the same time. You need to have a level of expectation from yourself that, you know what? I am taking this journey because I believe that I can do it. It is only too late when you declare it in your mind that it is too late. But before then, I need you to be in the same wavelength that I'm in. So that when we suggest solutions, you do not come with all the challenges. You say to yourself, look, it is possible. I can do it. I will do it. I am doing it. It is done. Number three is actually the most important step because it is called troubleshooting. This is the, where the real problem solving begins. Troubleshooting is also known to many who know computers as developing a systematic way of problem solving where you identify the problem and you bring up the solutions. So now we need to troubleshoot where are you going wrong? Because if you do not know where you're going wrong, you can never correct anything. And we troubleshoot by asking three most important questions. Question number one, what am I doing right? Why are we asking you this question? Because if you're doing things right, you need to amplify those actions to see the products, right? But now the key thing is, if you think you're doing something right and it's actually the wrong thing and you amplify the wrong thing, you will get worse results. So this is a dangerous step. Identify what is it that you're doing right. Question number two, what is it that you're doing wrong? The reason we need to identify all the things you're doing wrong is so that we eliminate these things. We eliminate these habits that are not contributing positively to your journey. Example of these habits is social media. Why are you still on social media, TikTok, Instagram, and it's taking so much of your time? Friend groups. When you say to your friends, let us go study, and they say, hey, Antoine, we need to play some games, you definitely know from that moment on that those friends are not going to where you want to go. So you identify all the things that you're doing wrong. Question number three, what is it that you're not doing so that you may start doing it, right? And this is a very important question because sometimes you do not know what to start doing. You do not know what is it that you're not doing that you're supposed to be doing. This is leading us straight into number four. Number four, but it is very simple. It is help. This is the part of the journey where you take your dignity and you shove it where no one cares. This is where you take your pride and you put it in your back pocket and you sit on top of it. Because it's no longer important at this point. I need you to humble yourself. Among the laws of power, there's a law that says that you never outshine the master. It is where you shine the shoes of the master so that people can see the master, not you. So this is what you do. You go asking for help from the teachers that teach you because they know best. They know what you're doing wrong. 
They know what you could be doing to succeed. So you humble yourself. You go there, teacher. Look, the way you taught this particular topic, yo, you taught it so well. I learned this and that and that and that. But when you got to this specific topic, look, I don't think I understood it properly. This is what I understood. Please let me know what, what, what do you think about this? Then they continue. Okay, what, what other resources can I then use to kind of amplify my understanding so that I get 100%? What can I then use? What past papers can I then do? Can I please consult you again after school? Can we please talk at another time so that you evaluate my progress? You are humbling yourself to the teachers so that they see, no, this student is trying. You want to appear as the trying student. So you knock on doors. You go speak to the current top learners in that particular subject. You beg them. You buy them a bag of chips and say, Hey, Bona, look, man, I, I just need your advice here. Right? I saw how you understand, how you answer questions in class. I think there's something that I can learn from you. Take your bag of chips, man, just for your time. All I need is just... 15 minutes of your time so that you explain to me this topic. There, you are trying to identify what is it these guys that are doing right, that I'm doing wrong, right? You ask for help because this is not a solo spot, right? You use the resources that are available for you. There's a tutoring class that's happening. Go join the class, beg them. Oh, I would love to be in this class. I think I could learn so much. Can I please join in the afternoons, right? You beg, even if it's a class that is happening in another school, now you are developing a level of hunger that should define your journey because you're hungry for this success. You want it above anything. It's time for you to prove it by lowering yourself and asking for that help. Number five, guys, this is song and what together. The most important thing is to take action. You can do all the laborious planning you want in the world, but the thing that determines whether you succeed or not is action. So I want you to take action fast and repetitively. If they tell you, I'm practicing past papers every day, start. Practice those past papers now every single day. Take action. There's no time to be thinking, will it work? Won't it work? We don't want pessimists here. We don't want people who are identifying challenges. We want implementers. Take action. If you learn, your teacher says, try this textbook, and I'm Go to that textbook and try it. If they say, speak to this child, and I'm sure she's going to help you or he's going to help you. Do that. Take, you don't have time to think now. Additionally to this, I want you to have this concept that there's no more time. There's no more time. Because this thought that I have enough time, I have more time, I'll do it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There's not enough time. So take action fast and do it repetitively. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Try this thing. If they say do it every day, do it every day. If there's a study group that's attending at a particular place, arrive there first and be the last to leave. Take action. Very strong action. Aha, Gemma Fundi. Last but not least, there's a particular quality that I want you guys to have that defines a lot of successful people. People thought it was intelligence that defines successful people. People thought it was hard work that defines successful people. People thought it was sacrifice. All those things are important. But there is a one particular characteristic that defines successful people that is grit perseverance the ability to get back up not all the doors that you knock on will be opened for you but i need you to be persistent in knocking on the doors eventually a door will open there's a quote from back then that used to say that successful people will knock on a hundred doors but will knock on door hundred with the same enthusiasm that they used to knock on door one what does that mean? It means that when you fall down, you get back up. When you ask for someone's help and they say no, you don't take it personally. When you ask for help from a teacher and they don't seem interested, you don't take it personally. You have a hungry soul. You move on to the next. You modify your strategies. You are trying. You are trying your best. And with all these efforts, you surely will succeed. You keep trying, you keep pushing until the last minute. And for all these efforts, you'll never regret. As someone would say that discipline is not just about no doing this thing every day. Discipline is a conversation that your current self has with your future self to say, I'm making all the necessary sacrifices now so that you don't have to suffer in the future. I'm living a life of minimized pleasure so that you can enjoy the full fruits in the future. Make those sacrifices, start on this journey, and you will not regret it. 
guys this brings us to the end of our video thank you so much for watching man i am back with full force on this youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe when i'm funding like it share it with many more people who need this academic comeback and we shall journey together in ensuring that you succeed and reach the levels that you want to reach remember on this channel buffet to we climb the ladder and we'll hold it there for someone else because there is enough space for all of us at the top dango